Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see the dry heat sterilization. Sterilization is defined as the process by which an article, surface or medium is freed of all microorganisms either in the vegetative or spore state. In simple words, we can say sterilization is the process of making sterile. Sterile means the killing of all forms of life. The agents used in sterilization can be classified as physical agents and chemical agents. Heat is the most reliable method of sterilization. Practical procedures by which heat is employed are conveniently divided into two categories. Dry heat sterilization and moist heat sterilization. Let's see what is dry heat sterilization. Dry heat sterilization is one of the physical method of sterilization. In dry heat sterilization, dry heat is used for sterilization. Heated air or fire is used in this process. The killing effect of dry heat is due to protein denaturation, oxidative damage and the toxic effect of elevated levels of electrolytes. Next we are going to see some important properties of dry heat. Dry hot air is a bad conductor of heat. It has low penetrating power. Instruments and techniques used for dry heat sterilization are hot air oven, incinerator, flaming, radiation, etc. Hot air oven is the most widely used method of sterilization by dry heat. A holding period of 160 degrees Celsius for one hour is used. It is used to sterilize glass vase, forceps, scissors, scalpels, glass syringes, dusting powder, liquid paraffin, etc. Let's see some more important points about hot air oven. Glass vase and other materials should be perfectly dry before placed in the oven. Test tubes, flasks, etc should be wrapped in craft paper. Rubber materials except silicone rubber will not stand the temperature. The materials should be arranged in a manner which allows free circulation of air in between the objects. And the oven must be allowed to cool before the door is opened because the glass vase may get cracked by sudden or uneven cooling. Finally, we are going to say the commonly used temperature and time that hot air oven needs to sterilize materials. For laboratory glass vase, a holding time of 2 hours at a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius is sufficient for sterilization. For ophthalmic surgery cutting instruments, a sterilizing time of 2 hours at 150 degrees Celsius is recommended. For oils, glycerol and dusting powder, a holding time of 1 hour at 150 degrees Celsius is recommended. And we should note one point here, that is, at 180 degrees Celsius, cotton wool plaques may get charred. Next, we are going to see the advantages of dry heat sterilization. Dry heat sterilization is non-toxic and harmless to the environment. It is non-corrosive for metal and sharp instruments. Next, we are going to see the disadvantages of dry heat sterilization. First one is the slow rate of heat penetration and microbial killing. It is a time-consuming process. The high temperature are not suitable for most materials. That is, it cannot be used for sterilization of fabrics, plastics or rubber wrap. Next, we are going to see about flaming. Destruction of microorganisms by burning using a Bunsen flame 
is known as flaming. It is practiced routinely in the laboratory. Flaming involves exposure of metallic objects to flame until it glows red hot in order to be sterilized. That is, the flame will kill all microorganisms. Care should be taken if the loops contain infective proteinaceous material. Such loops should be first dipped in chemical disinfectants before flaming to prevent spattering because the droplets which fly off are likely to carry viable organisms. Scalpels, needles, mouths of culture tubes, glass lights, cover slips, etc. could be passed a few times through the Bunsen flame without allowing them to become red hot and the bacteria get destroyed. Next we are going to see about incineration. Incineration is the process of burning something completely into ashes. The incineration method has the characteristics of complete disinfection and sterilization. Incineration is used for the destruction of carcasses, infected laboratory animals and other infected materials to be disposed of and it has become the most widely used medical waste treatment method. Special precautions need to be taken to ensure that the exhaust fumes do not carry particulate matter containing viable microorganisms into the atmosphere. The instrument used for this purpose is known as an incinerator. I am concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.